high profile deadly shooting case goes before a grand jury tomorrow. A police officer shot and killed John Crawford Jr. in a Beaver Creek Walmart about a month ago. The grand jury will be shown surveillance video from inside that Walmart store. WLWT News 5's Tammy Mutasa live for us with the calls tonight for justice from the victim's family and advocates. Tammy? Curtis, the surveillance video has not been released to the public, but John Crawford's father and attorney have seen it, and the attorney just told me the video shows that Crawford was doing nothing wrong when he was shot and killed. Now, the attorney, Michael Wright, insists there was no reason for officers to open fire at the Beaver Creek Walmart on August the 5th. Wright says John Crawford had a BB gun in one of his hands, was talking on the phone, unaware that officers were in his vicinity. But police say a 911 caller said a man was waiting waving a gun, and Crawford failed to comply with commands to put down a pellet rifle. Now, Attorney General Mike DeWine told WLWT that releasing the video could raise issues of a tainted jury poll if the case goes to trial. But Bishop Bobby Hilton is calling for transparency. We believe that if John Crawford would have been pointing that weapon at customers, at the police officers, they would have shown that. But since they've been hiding this video, we are very concerned at what's going to happen. And with this going to the grand jury tomorrow, we're even that much more concerned. Will they be honest? Will they be truthful? Because the grand jury proceeding is a secret proceeding. Now I'm told it could take several days before the grand jury returns back a decision. Tammy Mutasa, WLWT News 5. Curtis. All right, thanks a lot, Tammy. More than 150 people have rallied showing support for the Beaver Creek police officers. Protesters say they were supporting officers who routinely put their lives at risk.